Every day, millions of people arrive in their retail store, expecting that the products they wish to buy will be there, on the shelf, ready for them. Making sure that the shelves are filled takes a lot of planning and coordination between trading partners. Hello. For the consumer, the checkout is the end of their shopping process. But for the retailer and supplier, it's the start. Right now, this checkout is processing my purchase, charging me the relevant price for the product, but also sending information that the stock has been reduced by one. The computer system constantly updates and checks stock purchases and stock levels. And when an item reaches a low level in the central distribution center, a replenishment order to the supplier is triggered. This order puts in motion the entire process known as the supply chain. Using GS1 global standards in these business process and logistical operations supports efficient supply chain management. To be able to transport goods through the supply chain, there is one GS1 identification key which is vital. The Serial Shipping Container Code, globally known by its acronym SSCC. To explain how the SSCC supports supply chain efficiencies, we will show you how it's constructed and where it's used. This is a typical supply chain that is representative for many industries. The use of the SSCC starts right here in production at Unilever. Goods are produced and packaged into logistic units used for storage and transport. The goods are then shipped from Unilever to the distribution center of Migro. Within the distribution center, goods are received, stored, picked into trade items, and then prepared for shipment to the retail store. The goods are loaded onto trucks and transported to the store. The store receives the goods and unpacks them onto the shelves, ready for the customer to buy. At each step of the process, there is a checkpoint where the SSCC has to be scanned. The individual identification of logistic units with an SSCC enables trading partners to improve and simplify a number of processes. This applies to the entire supply chain, from the receiving of goods to storage, track and tracing and recalls of products. When products are produced, the consumer unit is identified with a Global Trade Item Number, or GTIN. This number is encoded in an EAN13 barcode symbol. The consumer units are then packed into multi-packs, which are identified with a different Global Trade Item Number. These multi-packs are loaded onto pallets, and this complete logistic unit is identified with a unique serial shipping container code. The IT system uses the SSCC to link all related information about the product, such as batch numbers or production dates. The SSCC is encoded into a GS1128 barcode and is printed onto a logistic label. The SSCC enables the manufacturer to store and find this pallet in the warehouse.
The Serial Shipping Container Code, SSCC, is the GS1 identification key used to identify individual logistic units. The SSCC begins with an application identifier 00, which tells the computer system that the next 18 digits make up the unique identification of the logistic unit. These 18 digits are structured as follows. The first digit, known as the extension digit, is any number from 0 to 9. Usually the extension digit is set to 0, but this could be any digit, usually changed in order to increase numbering capacity. The next 16 digits are made up of your GS1 company prefix plus a serial reference number. The last digit is the check digit, which is calculated according to a specific formula using the preceding digits in the SSCC. GS1 company prefixes vary in length, generally from 7 to 10 digits. If your GS1 company prefix is 8 digits in length, you will have 8 digits to sequentially number your logistic units. If your GS1 company prefix is 10 digits in length, you would have six digits to sequentially number your logistic units. Because the GS1128 barcode symbology has alphanumeric capability, it is ideal to be used to encode data on the GS1 logistic label. The data carried by GS1128 symbols must be structured using GS1 application identifiers, or AIs, which are in brackets. The AI00 defines that the next 18 digits is the SSCC. The AI02 defines that the following 14 digits is the global trade item number, or GTIN, of the trade items contained on the pallet. The AI-37 defines the quantity of trade items contained on the logistic unit. The AI-37 has a maximum of 8 digits and is always used in combination with AI-02. The AI-15 defines the 6-digit best before date using the format year, month and day. The AI-10 defines the batch number up to a maximum of 20 digits. The SSCC is always the lowest barcode symbol on the GS1 logistic label. There are currently more than 150 application identifiers, and your local GS1 member organization will be happy to help you choose the right AIs for your needs. The positioning of the GS1 logistic label is very important. The logistic label on units intended for general distribution should be upright, that is in picket fence orientation, and placed on two adjacent sides of the unit. Each item should have at least one logistic label. Logistic labels must not be placed under the foil or wrapping, as reflectance issues can interfere with the scannability of the barcode. Target height for the bottom of the barcode symbol is between 400 and 800 millimeters from the base of the pallet. The symbol, including its quiet zones, should be at least 50 millimeters from any vertical edge to avoid damage. The logistic label with the SSCC enables Unilever to store the pallet in their warehouse and to retrieve related information about that pallet from their IT system. When goods are ordered, the pallet is picked and arrives at this station where customer-specific information is added. There is now, for example, a delivery destination attached. Note that the SSCC is still the same. The IT system tells the forklift driver to place the pallet into a specific waiting line. All these products are going to the same destination. The handheld device is used to scan and confirm the destination, and if approved, the truck driver loads the pallet onto his truck. The information gathered at this checkpoint creates an electronic dispatch advice, which is sent via EDI to the Migro. 
They now know exactly which ordered goods will be arriving at their distribution center. When the logistic units arrive at the retailer distribution center, the unique identification of the logistic unit, the SSCC, serves as a reference to retrieve the information previously received by EDI. The receiver of the logistic units scans the SSCC and validates the physical unit against the information in the IT system. This makes the process of receiving goods very simple and efficient. The tracking of logistic units is supported by the unambiguous identification of the logistic units with an SSCC. Tracking information, where the logistic unit comes from and where it should go to, must be stored by all parties in the supply chain. This allows for the complete flow of information between trading partners and ensures efficient supply chain management. On occasion, there are some suppliers who do not produce logistic labels with SSCCs. These pallets must be placed into the special handling zone, where they have to be carefully checked and manually handled. This takes extra time and adds cost to the process. After manual checking, and if the delivery is correct, it is approved and Migro prints its own SSCC logistic label. With the Migro internal SSCC on the logistic unit, the goods can now go back into the normal process and no longer have to be handled separately. To store the checked goods in a warehouse, the logistic units are placed on specific racks. Every rack has a unique identification number, a global location number or GLN. Within warehouse systems, the unique rack number and the unique logistic unit identifications are linked electronically and stored. The goods are now ready to be picked. Here in the picking area of the distributor, the old logistic unit is broken down and a new logistic unit is created based on an order from a retail store. The new logistic unit is then identified with a new Migro SSCC. The finished pallets will be sent into the shipping area and wait in a specific waiting line to be loaded onto a truck. There are many different kinds of logistic units. This logistic unit, for example, has been put together consisting of many different products because they've been ordered by one retail store. Other units are homogenous, which means the products on the pallet are all the same. In this case, all are one kilogram packets of washing powder. In some instances, a logistic unit could even be made up of a single item, as in this case, one red sofa. All these logistic units have one thing in common. They are identified with an SSCC. The use of the handheld device ensures by scanning the SSCC, 
that the correct pallet is transported to the correct retail store. The information gathered at this point in the process is then electronically sent to the retail store. Consequently, the IT system of the retail store knows what is in the truck before it arrives there. To confirm that the right goods have been received in the store, the SSCC is scanned once again. At this point in the supply chain process, the use of the SSCC ends. Products are unpacked onto the shelves and made available to the consumer. All parties in the supply chain benefit from GS1 standards. SSCC increases efficiency, enables track and trace, and reduces costs throughout the process. The GS1 system of standards puts it all together. Thank you.